I've noticed some of the comments on some of the videos that we've talked about or demonstrated press runs where we've done cards and, and handouts and things like that on this press. And I, it dawned on me that there's one part of this press that I have not discussed. And that is this piece right up here. This is an ink fountain. Uh, it's a full length fountain. Uh, they also make what's called a pony fountain, which is a little device about that big. And the fountain's job is on long press runs to resupply the ink on the disc. Most of our press runs aren't that long, and so I don't have a need for the fountain. There's a roller here. The ink is placed down here, and as the press operates, uh, I'll show you the mechanism that slowly advances this roller. And the way it works is, let me bring the rollers up here. At the very top, this is the height of the top of their movement. There are a couple of adjusting bolts and I'll show you that in just a moment. This whole device comes down to where this roller just kisses that little bit of ink and transfers onto this roller and then it's distributed by the rotation of the ink disc. So let me get this back down because it's not good to park rollers on the press because they can develop flat spots. And the two bolts for adjusting that are on the underside here. There's a slot on both sides, which allows me to position this. These screws, there's a little movable plate here and I can tighten them up or loosen them up uh, depending on where I want the ink to come from. Uh, sometimes if it's a real heavy demand, I can have this whole roller covered with ink and transfer a little, a little to, the, to the inking rollers on every stroke. And also I can tighten these up so that only a small portion of the ink is transferred from this roller. This rod connects down and this is what operates the advance or of the, of the roller. First off, we have to engage that. But I'm not gonna move this because it's a bit of a pain, but you'll have to imagine when you start seeing this, this operate that the distance between this ink supply and the printing roller, you'll have to imagine that it goes up there and actually makes contact. So let me get us going here. So if you notice now, the ratchet mechanism is advancing that roll about three notches. And if you could imagine that as this is coming up here, this top roll, ink roller, will come up and hit the supply roller. This distance would be so that it's actually making a, a very light physical contact. Now, printing a job with that high an ink demand is pretty tricky for the Chandler and Price. It's easierly, it's more easily done on an offset press. But this is all the different mechanisms that they figured out. Uh, the, the full fountain or the pony fountain. A part of this press that's been disabled is the counter rotating disc, which normally 
helps distribute the ink more. The fact that there are three rollers on the press, I never bother taking one out. And I can run this with just two rollers. A lot of people uh, printing uh, do that on their own press at home. Uh, there's no, no fixed rule that you must use as many as the press can hold. Uh, some of the bigger presses and even have four rollers. So that kind of covers the, uh, the ink fountain. And I'm, I, I feel real sorry that I just, I've never bothered to explain that in one of our videos, but it is an, uh, an important and an integral part of the printing press.